as for the palette, I... Uh... Hey guys, it's Serena, and for today's video I'm going to be reviewing slash doing a tutorial on the new ABHX Alyssa Edwards palette. I have it right here and I will show you guys a cute little tutorial on how I got this look and also a little bit of the specs on the palette and how I like it and what's the real tea from Serena Nicole. Mm, God. But yeah you guys, you're probably like, who is this bitch? Does she even know how to do makeup? She hasn't been on YouTube in a while. I know, I know, I know. But you know, a bitch is back and better than ever or whatever. And you know, I'm just trying to push out content for y'all. I know I've been gone and like MIA and whatnot, but I have been on my Instagram posting throughout the week. So if you guys do not follow me, follow me on Instagram. I will have it right here and also in the down bar below if you guys haven't already. Make sure to follow me. Before you guys start watching this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, of course, and click that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's just see the real tea on Miss Alyssa. Okay. Okay. Let me zoom y'all in or whatever. All right, y'all. Now to start off my eye, I'm just gonna take the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. It's kind of like a whitish tan, lighter shade on my skin tone. So I'm just gonna take some on the back of my hand and uh, put it on my lids for priming. And just to set my brow bone, I'm gonna take the NYX shadow in the shade Vixen. Just a single shadow to set my brow bone just so it's not sticky or doesn't get all mixed up in the colors I'm going to be applying. Just taking a flat brush and just setting my brow bone. Any kind of bonish color shade works um, or any color that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone or even a translucent powder just on the brow bone so no colors look patchy in that area. All right, now my first shade I'm gonna be using is this pink color right here. It's called Texas Made. I'm just gonna take that on the brush that it comes with in the palette. I absolutely love these brushes, you guys. One of my favorite part of Anastasia palettes is actually the brush. So I'm gonna take the fluffy side and dip into Texas Made and just start patting it on my lid, kind of in the middle where my crease is at. This method gives me the most pigment and the most like blah blah blah, the most blendability. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna be stamping it on here. This is the only color I'm using in my crease, so I'm not really worried about space. I'm just worrying about getting the initial pigment onto my lid. All right, so once you have that pigment on there, it's gonna look crazy. I'm gonna take my Morphe M518 brush, dip in there a little bit into Texas Made and blend out the outer edges of my shadow. And if you keep having to dip into Texas Made, go ahead and do that if you guys want to make it even more pigmented. We're just tapping on the crease and then lightly blending out the edges with a little bit of product. All right, so now to cut the crease, I'm going to take the ColourPop Concealer. This one's in the shade Fair Double Zero. I'm going to take this, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and just cut out my crease halfway. You guys know the drill with this. Um, it's pretty simple. We're going to be putting a brighter pink shade on top of it. So just cut your crease, and then I'll be back to put on that colorful shade. Just stamping on the white first, and then you're just going to want to look straight ahead, kind of blink a couple times to get where your crease is going to be cut at. And then just start going from there in small tapping motions. Oh, my head itches. Now I'm taking my Morphe M167. It's just a flat brush. I'm gonna be dipping into this shade right here. It's called Beyond. It's a really pretty pink shimmery kind of color. So I'm gonna take that and put it right on top of the place where we just cut our crease. Y'all see that? Oh my Lord. She's beautiful. Then I'm just gonna go back with my M, M518 brush and take Texas Made that pink color and blend out the outer edges so then we can move on to the eyeliner. All right, now for the fun part, which is the eyeliner. I'm going to be taking a little Q-tip um, and just kind of licking it or putting micellar water on it or whatever and kind of making a line right here just to leave room for the eyeliner so it doesn't mix in with pink or anything. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Just kind of removing the eyeshadow closest to your lash line you don't have to remove it all, just some of it. 
just so your eyeliner doesn't look pink when you put it on or blend with these shadows. All right, so you see a good chunk of it. It's pretty much off. Now I'm just gonna take this random brush. I don't even know where it's from. I think it's like a Kiss brush. Came with like the gel eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and take that ColourPop White Concealer again and put it on this Kiss brush and make a line on my upper lash line and just so I can start having a base for the eyeliner. If you guys do have a white eyeliner that's not like the NYX one that dries down matte, you can use it, but for now I'm just gonna use the white concealer as a base for the liner, just so I can have something that's tacky that will stick in my shadow afterwards. All right, now with that same brush, I'm gonna be putting these shadows on top of the liner. I'm gonna pat it out a little bit just so they're not too, too um, sticky. Um, and then I'm gonna go in to, let's see, I'm gonna take Believe first. This really pretty purple shade right here in the corner. So I'm going to take that same Kiss brush and just tap into Believe and tap it on my very most inner corner of where we just applied that white concealer. So you're only going to want to go about midway with this color because we are doing an ombre liner effect. Go to about the middle of your eyelid with this purple shade. All right, so now to make like a lighter kind of purple shade, I'm going to go into the Dream It and the believe it color I could use unicorn try but I'm just gonna make it like a better purple kind of color so I'm going to take actually I think blue and pink make purple yeah so I'm gonna take the blue dream it color and the um, Texas made color mix those together on my little kiss brush and then put it in the center of the liner just to make like a lighter kind of purple color a little bit more of the pink so it can be a lighter purple and you got yourself an ombre purple sis. For the very outer edge of the liner, I'm just gonna take Texas Made again, that hot pink shade, and finish off the liner with that shade. And it should blend and fade into that outer edge since there was already hot pink there to begin with. Then just take that blending brush and kind of blend everything together. All right, now for the liner, I'm gonna take two of them. I'm gonna take the NYX White Liquid Liner, and I'm also gonna take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. So I'm gonna take both of these for the little line. First, I'm gonna take the NYX White Liner and make a line. You guys don't have to do this, but I wanted to just add something to spice up my look. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this really quick and be right back. Liner's kind of wonky, but it's okay because we're going to add that glitter over it. Okay. Alright you guys, this is basically the eye look. I'm going to put on some lashes after I do my entire face. This video is just focused on the Alyssa Edwards palette, so you guys will see here Sure. You guys will hear my thoughts about it and everything when I finish up my face and put on my lashes. I'm probably just going to put the pink shade on my lower lash line and nothing too serious. Um, so yeah, you guys will hear my final thoughts in three, two, one. And uh, oh, Alright you guys, so I just finished up the look and let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see the final finishing touches of it. So yeah, as you guys know, I just did the eyes for today. I wanted to focus the, like have the main focus of the video be on the palette because, you know, that's what the video is about. I didn't show you guys my face or anything, but if you guys want to know those products, it will be down below in the down bar for y'all. But this is basically how the look turned out. I did like an ombre type liner. Um, a glittery inner corner obviously that wasn't in the palette but you guys can see the colors and whatnot and kind of see for yourself if you guys like how the look turned out as for the palette being Serena Nicole approved it definitely is um, it's not really any different from the other ABH palettes I've reviewed on my channel before are the ones that I have I damn near have like all of them except like a couple um, but the only difference really is for me is the packaging and the color scheme so basically the packaging instead of like that velvety kind of finish it usually has let me show you on my other ones so the other ABH palettes usually have like this velvety kind of like touch to them but this one is more of like a kind of not like a plasticky feel but it's more instead of matte and velvety it's more like having a shiny finish or whatever so I like that about it and it's really reflective with the Alyssa Edwards and has the eyes on top so I love the packaging it's not basic like you know the other palettes it has some pizzazz to it or whatever and then also it just comes with a standard brush you guys know the drill I love that brush and the color story is very different from the other palettes usually their palettes are kind of like this and you know just plain Jane but this one's really out there and loud which I really do like because you guys know I love working with colors I'm a colorful kind of gal so yeah I love the color scheme of it the textures of the shadows are basically the same as the other ones they're really pigmented they do have a lot of fallout that's just how ABH shadows are 
granted but yeah other than that I would definitely recommend getting this palette if you guys do wear a lot of color or you know you're maybe even a drag queen hey girl support the local drag queens um anything anybody can get this palette literally um but if you are like a person who loves playing with color I would definitely recommend it and it's limited edition and you know it's Alyssa Edwards so why not but yeah you guys I definitely love this palette it's definitely Serena Nicole approved so if you guys have the funds for if y'all want to save for it if y'all got the money definitely go cop her okay but yeah you guys this is basically it for the video today I really hope you guys enjoyed I got a lot of requests to this video so I hope you guys like how the look turned out if you guys do end up buying this palette let me know down below in the comments and like send me your look so I can see what you guys created using it before you guys leave my video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also click that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a new video also follow your girl on all my social media sites they'll be linked down below in the down bar as well as the end card of this video I love you all so so much and I'll see you guys in my next one all right bye guys <laughs>